So I've got my drive, I've used it before, so I've taken the partition off and you can see here it's this disk 6 and now I'm going to create a partition and I'm going to call it uh, MP, MPC Live SSD is better and note I've created it as logical and I'm going for NTFS you could they recommend FAT32 or NTFS so I, I've chosen this one so I'm going to go OK and click apply And this shouldn't take too long. As you can see I'm using that product and this was free. So that's ready now. So I'm going to eject the disk and I would advise using something soft to Today I'm going to show you how to fit an external hard drive into the Akai MPC Live. So first put a soft towel or something on a bench and turn the device upside down. And when you do that you'll see this cover plate and we're going to remove the cover plate. So once the cover's off, you'll see the plug that fits into the external drive. I'm fitting today a SanDisk Extreme Pro. And first of all, we need to make sure that we put attach the drive to the cover in the right way. So I'm going to do it this way so that the connectors here line up. And to do that, I'm going to screw the cover by lining the holes on the drive. Now this bit you may not be able to see very well, but I've got the screws that came with the drive and there we go. Right, there's one. I'm, I'm not going to over tighten at this stage. And now I'm lining up the second hole here. And the holes have to be perfectly aligned, otherwise, the screw won't engage. There we go, there's number two. And I've not done it tight. And number three. And then number four. And when all the four screws are in place, you can tighten the screws and then you'll have this and now we can align and plug in Now you might need to hold the plate in place because the cables will have a tendency to want to push against this inner edge now this drive has already been prepared as an NTFS drive and I've named the drive MPC SSD in my case. If you haven't prepared the drive then you may need to in, a, in advance of this process of course because you may need a docking station so that you can format the drive and rename the volume to whatever you want and if you name it it's easier to see in the MPC software itself. It goes without saying that my MPC is switched off. And there's the last one. These can be a little tricky. Okay, now we can turn it around the other side. And I'll just zoom in here. 
and I'm pushing start and it's going in. I'm going to go to an empty project. Now how do I know where the drive is? Zoom out a second so that you can see the control. I'm pressing menu and then I'm coming to browser here and then places here and then if I zoom in now you can see the MPC SSD drive here so I've selected it here and now I can see the internal directory structure of my drive remember this was prepared already with content so yours may not be um, and then I can go into my drums directory and I can find my samples so thank you for watching